has been here for hours and hours and hours. What services have you provided to all of these people today? Well, George, as you can see behind us here, we've got probably about two pallets of food. I got blankets, towels, all sorts of support equipment for those folks that are displaced with their pets. So we're here. Uh, Operation Blankets of Love is like a Red Cross for the animal rescue world, and we uh, have been dispatched to disasters much like uh, today, and we'll be here overnight, and we'll be here throughout tomorrow as well. Now, if you have a, a dog or a cat, you have an animal, you yeah. can't go in and sleep unless they're in a crate, and yes. I've noticed that your workers have been putting crates together. Yes. They're right my here, in fact. God bless my volunteers. We got extra crates here, and we got blankets to make uh, their lives uh, comfortable, and uh, and their stay, of course, comfortable. We got plenty of water, and we got bowls, so we're here for the folks. You've done this before, I assume. Many times. So what is generally the atmosphere? Because I feel this is a very safe, caring place. It is. We give a lot of tender, loving care for all those folks that come by, and we make sure that they're comfortable and their pets are comfortable. And speaking of the pets, how many pets do you think you've helped just in the last today, several hours? Today, probably about 125 here and another 200,000 oaks. So we brought, actually, we shipped off uh, about a pallet of food and maybe about 400 bottles of water to Thousand Oaks. There were about 200 animals that are stranded uh, at a, like a pet hotel of some sort. So we were there to help out. All right, well, Brad, thank you so much for helping out. Thank you. I would like to say that there are a lot of people here who are treating this as if they are kind of at a home and they are in, a, in essence at a home tonight. They are watching television as a group. They're outside watching television. The Red Cross has provided snack food. Dinner was provided. The Pierce College opened the cafeteria and was feeding everybody here free meals. It's a very warm, welcoming environment if you need a place to stay. We're live in Woodland Hills, George Pinocchio, ABC7 Eyewitness News. George, I have a question for you. We're all big animal lovers here, you too. Um, now, do people get to mm -hmm. spend the night with their animals, or do they have to leave at a certain time uh, to go find their own place to stay and leave their animals overnight? Well, this is the great thing. If you come here and there's not a crate for your animal, then you, you can't go in there with your animal. However, there is a county, like a van set up, and there's more than one of them where animals can go and be crated inside another safe environment. So you can sleep inside. Your pets will be cared for somewhere else. But if you want to sleep with your pet and there are crates available here, you go inside and your loved pet is right next to Aww. you. Well, that's going to be. Yeah. Everyone needs a little bit of comfort oh. in this time. In these stressful times, yeah. the last thing you want to do is leave a member of your family at some strange place with people that you don't know. That's that's just adds to the to the tragedy of the whole situation. Look at that little guy I in know. there. Look at the collie in there. Just, it's all dust covered. Oh, uh, at least hopefully he'll be sleeping in. Oh, that's I know. Yeah. That's, that's, that's adorable. Yeah. There are some elderly dogs here. There are some puppies, and you know, one thing we haven't seen is a lot of fighting. They barked a little bit at each other, but even the dogs are getting along here. Yeah, well, that guy's asleep. He's probably had a harrowing day, and he's probably exhausted. George, thank you for that report. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Let's go okay. to Josh uh, Haskell now. He's been in Malibu all day dealing with all sorts of different issues. Josh, what's the very latest that you have? Thank you so much. Yeah.